don't see any thumbs down. All right. Welcome to the GSIPFS uh, Core Dev Team Weekly Sync Up of February 5th. Uh, this is the second call uh, of this type. If you haven't participated in one of these calls, I definitely recommend checking out the video from the first one, which is linked on the main issue for these sync ups. Uh, the, it explains exactly how we organize our work, how we use Waffle and how we use labels to coordinate amongst ourselves. Uh, the purpose of this call is for us to have a quick check-in on how everyone is doing and how are the tasks, and then to identify what are the priorities for this week. And also if there is blockers and if we need um, to, find, to do something to, well, unblock the people. Um, we do like kind of like a round robin thing. Uh, would someone like to be the first one? and sharing what they've done last week. Okay, Dimitri, you want to go first? Cool, cool, cool. Sure, I, can so I, I can take over for notes while you, you do yours. Thank you. Um, so last week, I Working on um, circuit related stuff, I was uh, able to implement all the remaining uh, browser tests with the browser uh, being a relay. Um, the it's not a well, I guess it, it is a blocker of some sort, but um, basically I'm running into the tests are a bit flaky right now. Uh, I think there's some issues that are being fixed in Go IPFS that will. Uh, help resolve, uh, resolve some of them. Um, there's some other random issues that uh, pop up here and there. Um, some of them are timeouts uh, just dialing. Some of them are uh, some crypto errors uh, that are that we do see um, randomly pop up on in, in just uh, regular JLCPFS um, um, lifecycle, I guess. Uh, can, can we get a little bit more concrete action items? So I understand there is yeah, issues. I'm more than that. Mm -hmm. So, but, but, but like it is an issue on Go IPFS and you need something, like you said you are blocked. So is it an issue on Go IPFS that you are figuring out? Is it an issue on Go IPFS that you already know and you already know of someone that can fix it or can we help you find a yeah. person who can help on Go IPFS? Yes. Uh, some of them are issues that have been already addressed in Go IPFS Master. And mm -hmm. we're just waiting for a new release. Uh, the rest of the random issues or issues that I haven't encountered that happen randomly on CI, um, meaning that I can't reproduce them consistently. They happen every two or three builds, things like that. Um, I am keeping a list and I will post those issues on GitHub uh, so that we can address them. Um, and yep, so I've been I've been running a lot of CI builds mm -hmm. <laughs> this past mm -hmm. week. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I think I think um, at least test wise, we have all the cases that we we had um, we had documented. All of them are covered, and the issues that we are encountering right now are being uh, documented and investigated, and hopefully. Uh, um, those issues are going to be documented pretty soon, and we can be we can resolve them. Mm -hmm. And so, on this circuit relay endeavor, uh, are we looking to have like the PR merge this week and like uh, leave the outstanding issues for when GoIPFS gets released? Is this like a total blocker and like circuit relay is not usable at all until GoIPFS is released? Um, can can no. you expand a little bit? Uh, um, yeah. So, so circuit release. Uh, sorry, circuit uh, relay is um, totally usable right now. Uh, the issues that we are running into are already existing issues uh, in, in both in JS and Go implementations, and we are, we're really not adding anything or breaking anything with releasing circuit. It's just that we uh, those issues they're becoming more apparent and more um, uh, 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 visible with uh, uh, when using circuit. Interesting. So we so, we can have that that merge, I believe, but it's something yeah. we can discuss, obviously. So, yeah, like we, we can also table this for um, like a sync discussion. Uh, it is not clear to me. So this is my question that you can probably clarify on the PR. I don't understand mm -hmm. 
what it means to be 100% functional when now there is issues that are present, probably not at all times, but are still there. And so I, I don't understand necessarily what is missing to, to just like put a step and say, hey, users, try this. Um, but, but you can like answer uh, this on the issue. What is the, the thing that you want to focus on this week? Um, merging merging uh, circuit, uh, basically uh, spend some more time uh, investigating those issues, making sure that we're not introducing anything. I, um, from my current investigation, I haven't found any new issues that we're bringing in with, with, uh, with circuit. We're just um, running into some existing issues, basically. That ha that are already being addressed. Um, okay. Um, okay. Um, how far? So, like, there is two things for the circuit enabler when it's getting mm -hmm. complete and tested. The other one is like enabling users to use them. How mm -hmm. are we on the documentation front? Yeah, uh, the documentation is um, coming. I added some uh, some documentation. Uh, it would be maybe good to discuss what we need from the docs. I think. Um, since Circuit works with JSIPFS right now, we can add some docs in uh, Lippy 2 p kind of documenting what options need to be passed, but there's, since it's embedded into Lippy 2 p right now, there's really no way of kind of saying, okay, let's just, uh, you know, this is how you assemble a no, uh, new Lippy 2 p node with Circuit Relay. It's already embedded into the uh, Lippy 2 p um, stack. Yeah, so it's like about- We can setup. document the options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about it's setup. about setup. Like, let's say maybe like Jared or Johnny or J John Crone, I believe, uh, Jay Crone can be our beta testers and we can tell them, hey, like, can you test like having a browser dialing to your Go IP test node in your machine? And, and okay. yes, they, if they follow the documentation, it all works fine. That's great. If not, okay. Uh, by the way, sorry for putting you guys on the spot. Like, of course, only if you are available and if you have time. Like, <laughs> you, you can say no. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, J. J um Cool. All right. So, Beta, uh, Jared, Johnny, and J. Crone. Sweet. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. So, anything else? Uh, no, that's it. All right. Uh, wants to go next? Uh, Richard. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Uh, cool. Are you, are you making notes? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, Rich. Yeah, go ahead. Key management and the keychain all got released last week. Yay! Um, no bugs been reported, so apparently nobody's been playing with it. <laughs> uh, there we go. Sounds like we need to make a tutorial. Like we should publish a blog post. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, th that would be great. Um, last week, um, I've been playing a lot with uh, multicasting DNS, which is one of our peer discovery mechanisms. Uh, Mainly been making changes to um, two other open source packages we're using. Uh, they weren't sending things correctly over the wire. Um, one, one of the packages have accepted all my changes. Yay, it's been released, version four. And I'm waiting for the other package to be updated to use the first package. Then, then we'll have everything running. So I have a couple open PRs on our stuff that you could take a look at sometime, David, no big worry. Uh, the other thing I've been working on is getting the IPS shutdown command in the CLI API and interface data core going. Um, that's so that IPS um, daemon controller can have a graceful way of shutting down daemons. Uh, as you probably know, Windows, you can only kill it. Um, and the, uh, the process that gets killed doesn't have any chance to uh, gracefully uh, shut down. It's just killed <laughs> in the story. Uh, so the, David, you and I have had a couple go-arounds about names. I'm, I'm, I'm quite confused what we want to call this IPS shutdown. <laughs> um, get back to me on that. That's it.
All right, thank you so much. So uh, it sounds like you have open PRs that I need to review. So let's declare them as blocked because they are blocked on my review. So you can like put them here on the notes if you don't mind, like the links for those PRs. Same thing for oh, the okay. shutdown. Uh, I replied, I believe, this morning on like just one. The simple answer is just like to do an alias of shutdown and stop. Uh, let me know if you have seen that comment or if you have more questions about that. I uh, did. It, uh, stop is equal to shutdown. In, yeah. in the core API. Yeah, and so, so let's just do that. And then what I said next was at some point we need really to like stop trying to mimic Go IPFS because Go IPFS is like a, its own thing. Uh, and, and we, from given that we have IPFS, the module that gets used by web applications, it has other ways um, to operate. Like, for example, the fact that we have three cats, one for pull streams, one for readable streams, and one for buffers, um, is an example. Like, we, we need to think about, like, our users and not necessarily just, like, to trans transport everything that the IPFS does because it might not match the patterns of usage that IPFS users do in JS. But again, uh, overall, the feature should all be there. Like, if you can add a file with tr the trickle egg, you should be able, uh, able to add a file with... I know, but, 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 sorry. Um, if I'm confused, but aren't we just talking about a name? You like stop and I go like shut down. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, what <laughs> I, I mean is we. Somebody we needs to make a decision and I'll implement it. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, okay, well, let's expand more of this. Yeah. In, in issues. Cool, thank you. Uh, so, what is next is finish MDNS. We're going to be pushed down. Uh, cool. Thank you. All right. Uh, Volker, do you want to go next? Yes. So um, last week I worked on uh, the IPLD CLI. So kind of the IPFS IPLD CLI. <laughs> um, and during this time I encountered like inconsistencies in the spec. So I currently cleaning up the spec and all the implementations and like this is also what I will do this week is kind of like, so I'm still hopefully from week to week, I hope to wrap up all the IPLD stuff I'm currently doing, like getting it into good shape, getting it up to date. Um, yeah, that's what I will do this week. So basically, I hope that at the end of the week, there is a proper IP, JS IPL, JS IPFS IPLD DAG command. <laughs> all right that's yeah. all it's pretty cool and as you were part of the ipfs all ends right like you were there like an hour ago uh and so a lot of people are asking for examples uh or updated examples and yes, so, uh, so, I will, so i will also do like i have a half written tutorial but i got basically blocked by myself that things didn't work so but not sure if it will happen this week but We'll see. Okay, 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 okay. Just just keep that in mind. And if yeah. you want to track that specifically, creating the tutorial, uh, updating the examples, publishing a blog post as an issue, that would be yeah. super helpful for yeah. I, I should also like like I should also like uh, I, I'm sorry I haven't used the Piffle board yet because like my workflow is a bit different, but I will this week I will do it properly basically. So that's yeah. okay. All right, that's all. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, and yeah, um, awesome, cool. So is there anyone else that wants to check in or should I go next? Um, yeah, hi, me. Um, oh, cool. Working, like um, actually not last week, but the week before that on WebSocket Star, I have now rewritten everything to use peer-to-peer -peer circuit and um, protocol buffers over lit peer-to-peer -peer instead of the current uh, mod uh, mode over socket IO. And seems like everybody just noticed that because nothing happened. Um, okay, so you, as you're saying, you finished the PR, you need review, so you're blocked there. Um, is there anything that you are uh, planning on focusing for this week? Um, maybe I will focus on getting the peer, -peer node trust finally to work um, with the new improvements. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Cool. Okay, so from my end um, is, well, 
I had a slow week because of throttling to fuzz and, and also because my laptop broke. So yay. Like uh still I managed to like review many, many PRs and I hope like I provided a lot of feedback to everyone. I know that like you are still waiting on some of my reviews. And uh, yeah, I'll this week will be different. Uh, I'm already set up and like at my home. So like I, I expect my productivity to go back to normal levels. Um one of the things I did is like really explore what should be or create the list of things for what the next generation of whippy repair should be. So we have been planning a refactor for a long time. We want things as dependency injection or at least support for dependency injection so that we have a backbone for all of the whippy repair models modules. So that's like things that like Machi is doing of using Swarm uh, to get access to peer-to-peer -peer circuits to then do the, um, the signaling for WebRTC star and for WebSocket star can happen so that we can um, so that we can like do that for many other transports or that we can uh, pass down like configurations uh, options or just enable Swarm to like fetch properties from the peer to peer instance itself instead of like these constant back and forward passing references, which is kind of confusing right now for a lot of people and, and, and it's creating, um, well, hard time for some people. There are more things. There is an issue on just leap peer to peer, which is called uh, leap peer to peer dot next. Uh, and it's tagged as critical and I am assigned to it. And so it has a, a list of uh, eight, eight items that, that that are the things that are that I'm going to focus on this week. Um, ch definitely check it out. I'm not blocked in anything that I know of, I think. Like, uh, I think I'm the one blocking other people. Um, and so, yeah, that is, yeah, I guess like blockers was really like fuzz and, and the broken laptop. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dimitri. And the other thing I did is like I went to through the waffle board for JSL peer to peer. So now we have access to both waffle boards for JSL PFS and JSL peer to peer. Um, and both of them have like the issues labeled with the difficulty, if they are ready for other people to contribute and their priorities. Cool. So that is from me. Uh, Jared uh, or John Crone or Johnny Crunch, do you want to share something or ask something? Uh, sure. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, go for it. Okay, cool. New headphones. Uh, yeah, so my name is Jonathan. I've uh, recently stumbled on some free time, and I've just been uh, looking around all of the, you know, the maze of modules uh, for IPFS, and, and uh, would love to. So I'm spending a little bit of time contributing. I did uh, so I'm picking some really simple things to kind of in introduce me, invite me to the all these things uh, interact. And so last week, maybe a little bit of the week before, uh, I spent some time adding the <laughs> all flag to the version uh, command. So mm -hmm. I don't think it's actually on master. I think it was merged into the uh, PR 1181 branch. Um, and uh, that, might be, that might be useful. It's a really small thing. Um, so I was looking through the waffle board, looked at the list of things that were, you know, Interesting to me. I found that I thought it might be interesting to implement the uh, like recursive, recursive, recursive and, and long, uh, like detailed um, flags to the LS command on the uh, what I think would be the mutable file system. Um, I think I have some questions there, and like I have a lot of questions, um, but maybe I'll make a post on that, on one of those issues and. And would love some comments on. So, um, really bad. yeah, uh, I I'm not hearing you completely. So I got that you worked on two PRs. Uh, one of them got merged to another PR, and that was because essentially there was a test that was failing. And so I'm not now mm -hmm. just waiting for CI to finish its thing to like verify that like we didn't miss anything. Um, and then you explain that you were working on something, and, and yeah. That part I didn't understand at all. Like, could you? Okay. Could you try to just maybe briefly? Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. I started. I started looking at adding the only hash, um, the dash dash only hash flag to, um, uh, to adding files 
um, mm -hmm. so that we could get input on what the hash would be for some files. But, and I got some progress on that, um, but I ran into an issue with testing so that I wasn't, I just recently posted, posted an issue on GSIPF. So I wasn't able to get any of the HTTP APIs test running, and I think that's because I'm using Windows. And I'm everywhere I turn, there's something new. So there's a, a little bit, a few things in there that I don't. Um, I've been trying to beg to trace down, but I haven't quite figured out how to uh, fix those tests. And um, uh, so while I was maybe the adding some files to LS might be interesting. You guys get a bit, a bit more of that? Okay, so now I think I got it. Um, there were, that you are having issues testing your implementation of dash dash on OES, given that the HTTP yeah. tests are not running on your machine. Um, I, I'll post the link to that issue. Um, Richard, perhaps mm. you could like take a look and like see if you can run those tests oh. on your Windows machine to help John here. Would that be a thing you can do this week? Uh, Richard, you're muted. There we go, unmute. Um, yeah. yeah, I'll be happy to do. Um, send me a link. Uh, it's um, on the um, on the crypt path. Do you, do you see a line 84 on the crypt path? Sorry, again? A line 84 on the crypt path. Line eight, I have no idea what you're talking about, sorry. Uh, Sorry. Okay. Well, what if I post here on the Zoom chat? There you go. Thank you. Oh, oh, the chat thing. Ah, sorry. Cheers. Thank you. Okay. I'll so take a look at it afterwards. Thank you so much. Cool. Thank you, John. Um, <laughs> yeah. So let's make sure that gets figured out. Um, and, and yeah, thank you for contributing and for jumping into the project. This is awesome. If you have any questions about like how things work, like Unix FS, like what is happening there, etc., feel free to open more issues with questions, and and then uh, let's try to convert those into documentation, because I'm sure other people mm -hmm. have the same questions. All right, so um, yeah, where is? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Sorry, is there another like so rather than I feel like some of my questions are more conversational, or yeah. like mine. Not, of a full issue. Um, is there another form for that? Like I've seen the yes. IRC channel. Um, maybe that would be this. So IRC's channel is good for hanging out and like meeting people. This this conversation uh, is supposedly to be like a quick sync up. It's 30 minutes because we are many people and like we just do this once a week. But it's supposed to be like a <laughs> kind of like a daily stand up, like a daily sprint stand up. Uh, and so we just like go through like what is what we have done, what we are blocked, and what we, it's next. And then we try to reserve a little bit of the hand of the call just to go through outstanding issues to like like refresh our minds on like what are the priorities, what are the big tasks that the one is handling. Uh, if you want, there's a, a call uh, one hour before this one, which is IPFS LNs, and like you can ask all kinds of questions there. Um, check the community repo and especially the community calendar. I'm posting here a link for you so that you know where to, where to, what to look for. So check this community calendar and like you have access to all the, cal the calls that we have open. Um, Jared also posted here discuss.ipfs.io, which is our forum. And that is like a, it's, it's a medium like GitHub. You get threaded discussions, but it's typically a medium that has more activity by a, a broad, broader community, not just like the people hacking on the project, but like people that are thinking about all sorts of things about the project. Um, and, and yeah, like if you want to ask about how oh, Unix FS engine works or how oh, the IPFS architecture is set up, etc., it's a better medium. If you have a specific issue, a specific question on a module, you can ask, like you can just open an issue on the GitHub repo and, and we'll get back to it. Okay, you, great, thanks. You copy that? Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, last week we didn't do the exercise, but uh, I want to do with the three minutes that we have left, um, which is sharing my screen. Okay, so uh, I really want for everyone to have like the screen, like um, bear in mind, like there is a lot of stuff as you can see, there's a lot of things happening. Uh, but more importantly, is like all of these P1 and P0 issues. And right now, 
and, and again, like, it doesn't mean that like everyone needs to be focusing on the P0 because, well, you control your own time. But, but like, we have a system in place to tell us what are the things that are really critical for the success and the growth and the stability of the project. Um, and you can see those by the P0s. And we see there's like a ton of stuff here that is not being handled right now, uh, right? And, and like, in, we might question, for example, P0 for electron support was actually P04 last quarter, probably, like, we changed priority. So we can change this as well. Um, same thing goes for the P1s. Like, the P1s and the P0s are typically the things that are the biggest fires that we need to put off. Oh wait, clear there. And what is happening? Why is this not working? Yeah. Yeah, not only I broke my laptop, but I'm now using a replacement laptop, which is like way slower. So this is kind of painful because it just takes so much time. <laughs> Okay, Waffle is just giving up on me right now. Um, all right, and so you see there's like way more. And then even if we got one minute from the end, like same thing for early peer-to-peer, -peer. like we have a Waffle board for early peer-to-peer -peer, and this is the JS IPFS core dev team, which is basically annoying both things right now. Um, we don't have one for IPLV yet, Volker, that might be a thing that you want to do, um, if that helps you but we use the same labeling system. And so as an exercise, as a take home, uh, what I want to ask everyone is to go through these P0s and P1s and see what are the things that you would like to tackle. Uh, and like, just check into your minds like what are the priorities if you, don't, if you haven't done that already. Because there might be things here that you could like get done quickly or even like you would be more excited to work on. Um, that right now do not have anyone paying attention. And, and they are definitely the things that are more urgent. Sounds good. And so hopefully next week, uh, as we get better at these calls, and as we get to like a faster pace of like doing these updates and like just entering the call, having an update already uh, assigned. Um, and as we do these updates on like run Robbie really fast, the idea is like to spend the last 10 minutes of the call just going through the, the waffle board and like identifying the things that we can add to our plate, to our bag of tasks for the week as well. But yeah, this is like, okay, next week I hope that we can do that. Um, did everyone get all the ideas? Is everyone confident for what they have to do this week? Like, yeah, like everyone excited? Do you, do you feel like you have enough work to get to keep you busy and, and to achieve great things. Yeah, see some smiley faces, some thumbs up. All right, cool, 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 cool. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope this was helpful. See you again next week. Um, yeah, excited to see all the outcomes and all of the things that will be merged this week. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you so much for taking notes, Dimitri. Let's stop the recording.